Good morning. Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Eli Blifford here from Blifford Lumber. And just to preface this, they're one of the fastest growing companies in Milwaukee. So Eli, with that, thank you so much for jumping on the call today. You bet. Happy to be here. Thank you. So how this works is I'm going to ask you six questions. We're going to do it in about six minutes, sharing your business and your business success with our clients and our community. Is that okay? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. So the first question is, when people ask you what your business does, how do you describe it? Well, first of all, I'd say that we're more than lumber. I mean, we're known for lumber. I mean, it's Blifford Lumber, um, but we're also hardware and millwork um, and, and paint, windows, doors, moldings. I mean, anything that you could need for your house your, or your business, uh, we can help you with. I mean, we're, we're really a resource for the communities we're in. That's wonderful. And just a side question, tell our viewers how many locations you have. Uh, we have eight locations, two in the city of Milwaukee and the other six scattered uh, around the suburbs of Milwaukee. I know we were talking earlier and you said you're one of the last lumber yards in the area. Is that correct? Can you elaborate on that? We're the last lumber company in the city of Milwaukee. We have two locations in the city of Milwaukee. Um, there are still a, a good amount dwindling of family-owned lumber yards outside the city. We're, we're the last one in the city. Wow, very cool. What were your plans when you started your business and how have they changed? Can you tell us about the history? Well, so I obviously didn't start the business. I'm fifth generation. Uh, I came to Milwaukee to go to grad school at UWM in 1993. I needed a summer job. So my mom says, well, call your uncle Fred. He'll give you a summer job in Lumberyard. So I did that. And then I started grad school and didn't love grad school. And my uncle Fred says, what the hell are you doing? You know, the lumber is what we do. You should do this. And I've been here ever since. That's awesome. Very cool. So do you have any other family that's involved right now? Uh, yep. I've got uh, my son and my two nephews and my, uh, and my brother. Um, and lumber is a really, lumber is a close family. So I've got a whole bunch of lumber uncles who aren't really related to me, but we refer to them as uncles. That's pretty special. Yeah. What is the biggest way you impact the community? Um, I, I think it's being a resource. You know, they come to us with problems. Uh, each location is sort of have a, a different niche. Uh, and they all, they're all very active in their communities that they're in. Uh, and, and people come to them, you know, even if it's something that we don't do, they'll come to us and ask, hey, who can I call to do this? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we're really a resource for the community. All communities need a lumberyard and a hardware store. Absolutely. Yeah. And one that's close by. And not everybody has transportation. So that's great right. to be in the city of Milwaukee, too. In the River West neighborhood, we, we have a lot of uh, people who walk or bike to the store. Um, we sell Christmas trees at Christmas time. And if there's enough snow on the on the ground, uh, people will just carry their Christmas trees home in a sled. It's, it's nice, nice to be neighborhood. Wow, that's really cool. That's really neat. What is one challenge that Blifford Lumber has faced that other business owners could learn from? Um, well, we're so old. I mean, uh, so we made it through uh, World War I, uh, the Great Depression, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, uh, the Great Recession of 2000, you know, six through 10. I mean, mm -hmm. we've been through, there's no problem probably that we have not been through since we started. Um, I think the pandemic certainly was just the latest in the uh, growing list of, of things you need to overcome as a business owner if you're gonna be around for multiple generations. Sure, you could almost write a history book with as much as you guys have been through, huh? Well, I don't know, it's just lumber, it's not that exciting. A business history book, how about that? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> what does the future look like for you and do you have an exit plan? Um, the future is really good for us. I'm only 53, so I've got some time left, um, but I have, I have family and I have a lot of uh, younger members of our organization that are, uh, you know, ready to step forth into leadership roles. Um, and then we also became an ESOP last year. We're a partial ESOP. Um, so that's my exit plan is, is family and ESOP. Um, we kind of got, kind of got too big for me. Um, so I thought the thing to do is to share it with all the people who've made it such a success. And uh, so that's why we did the partial ESAP. That's really cool. And that's giving back too. Absolutely. For sure. Um, all subjects open. What inspires you most? Um, I, I would think it is watching 
the struggles that a lot of people go through just in their everyday life, the struggles the pandemic brought upon us, um, the struggles of the city, you know, the city is a, the city can be a hard place to live. It's a wonder and do business. It's a wonderful place to live and do business. Um, but those struggles, I, I would say, inspire me to, to never quit. You, you, you have to keep fighting all the time. That's wonderful. That's great advice for, for anybody, not just business owners, but not to quit, right? To persevere through. You got to be a grinder. You want to last, you know, a hundred and something years, you got to be a grinder. Totally. Well, thank you so much for coming on today, Eli. Are there any last words that you want to tell our viewers about Blifferit Lumber? No, it's just that, you know, we're a family place, place. come and visit us if you need something. Even if we don't do it, we'll absolutely uh, try to give you some advice on uh, how to fix whatever you need fixing. Awesome. Thank you so much. You bet. Great to be here.